Today I want to show how the FastPath Assure Cloud Platform helps answer the user licensing reporting question within Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. The first place we can go is to report licensing around your current security from a user, role, duty, and privilege perspective. If we come down and look at access reviews, we're able to see we have a number of different reports here. We can focus in on just the licensing reports today, so we can start at the role licensing report. This is taking all the current role access and determining what license is required based on the access that this role has to different entry points. This report shows the role name, the license type that's required, and then we show a detailed view with a numerical breakdown of where this license access is coming from based on the role's access. You're going to see the individual entry point access at each license level for this particular role. The accountant role, for example, has 1,050 accesses at the operations level for its entry point access for that role. This breakdown gives you the ability to see where there's potentially the ability to remove access from a particular role and therefore have it require a lower license level. If we look at, for example, the Accounts Payable Centralized Payments Clerk role, it only has seven accesses at the operations level. Maybe we can remove some of that access and actually have it only require an activity license, and therefore any user assigned to that role would require an activity license. To answer the question of where those accesses are coming from, we have the Role License Detailed Report. If we run this report, this is going to show the Role to Object to License Association. This detailed view is able to go down and be able to see which objects within a role are actually causing a particular license requirement. In this case, the accountant role has access to the sales perch invoice object at a delete level, which is requiring an operations license. In this example, we're able to go and see the license type for each individual role, and we can do the same thing at the duty or privilege level as well. If we go to duty license report, we're going to be able to see that numerical breakdown of the duty licenses within the system, and the same thing using the privilege license report as well. While executing those reports, you can see all of these reports look very similar in the license reporting that they're doing from the role, duty, and privilege side. We can also do the same reporting from the user side as well. If we come and do the user license report this is based on, taking all of the roles that each user is assigned, going through and determining the license that is required for each role, and then therefore determining the license that is required for each user. Again, you're going to get that numerical breakdown to show the number of entry points at each license level for each role the user is assigned, and as well as taking into account if the user is assigned the system administrator role, which will require an operations license. We have the ability to go and actually do a detailed report as well. So if you actually want to go from user to role to a securable object to access type and license, you can have that report. For example, you're able to go down and be able to see, so if we use the Alicia user, if we filter this report, you're going to be able to see that the Alicia user is going to be assigned this purchasing agent role. This has a number of different securable objects underneath it that have a license tied to them, and you're able to see all of those in this report. And finally, we do have a user role license report as well, so you can see the breakdown from user to role to license within the system. The Access Reviews module is looking at your current security and giving you that overview of where license requirements exist. We also have another module called our Security Designer module, which actually goes through and will allow you to model security and actually look to do an analysis of a before and after to see where the licensing impact of those changes are. So I've made some changes to the security model here, and now I can run an analysis which is going to show me impact of the changes I've made to the licensing side on the right-hand side of the screen. And also we have a segregation of duties analysis on the left-hand side. You're able to see the overview from the license perspective is based on the changes that were made to the security model and the impact those changes would have for licensing. You will be able to see that prior to these changes going live in your environment, so this gives the user that insight before those changes are published to the system. We also have the ability in our Security Designer module to take task recordings from finance and operations and upload those into our tool.
This allows us to analyze these task recordings to see which objects are going to be required from an entry point perspective for the user to be able to perform that task. It also breaks it down by the access type and then license that's required for each object as well. Using this tool, you are able to take those task recordings and actually use those to help build security and know what license will be required for each task or business process.